Welcome back to the conclusion of the Lawrenceville bracket here in the NAI softball opening round. Matt Mahoney alongside Daniel Gilman. Three games in the finale here as we start things off with an elimination game, Daniel. Semi-final matchup between Oregon Tech and Northwestern Ohio, and it was Logan Nunez, the freshman right fielder with the big fly in the fourth, behind the pitching of Kelly Scott, who took a perfect game into the sixth inning. Scott was beyond brilliant. Then loaded the bases, though, in the seventh and got a big fly out to right field to seal their fate into the championship round with GGC. Round two, Georgia Gwinnett versus Oregon Tech. Grizzlies took yesterday's contest by a score of 5-2, to two, and the Owls would want no part of that. Right out of the gate, the leadoff batter, and Kiana Brown hits a solo home run, and the Owls get all over top of the Grizzlies early. They add another run in the second, and the Grizzlies would make some uncharacteristic errors in the contest behind the their starter for the Owls and Lauren Williams. She was fantastic today for the Owls, putting the pressure on Georgia Gwinnett as GGC did not come up with too many answers in game number one. The Owls would win four to nothing and force the if necessary contest. Best two words in sports, Matt, game seven. Grizzlies get things going back to normal fashion. A top of the lineup getting the job done. Cook and Rossetti both get on and both come in to score in the bottom of the first inning. As Georgia Gwinnett manufactures a couple of runs off a of Sidney Wilhite sacrifice fly, and the Grizzlies would turn to freshman Piper Wagner inside the center circle. Wagner, the freshman, back-to-back -back days, zero earned runs allowed in the first day, one earned run on the big fly by the All-American Tara Motier. The Grizzlies booted out Lauren Williams, who shut them out in the first game and had to face the freshman Sarah Abramson, but Matt, they were ready for the task. GGC would tack on another run in the fourth big-time base hit on an execution at bat. Aubrey Cox coming to score, and the Grizzlies would extend the lead 3-1, to one, and no at bat bigger for GGC. It's a great play by Robinson there at short. Comes from Georgia Gwinnett in the bottom of the sixth. The tall foul pole was friendly to the home team here as Coach Cat was thankful for it. Dr. Darren added it before the season started in 2013 when it all started. And GGC Softball celebrates with the big insurance run in the bottom of the sixth. Three outs remaining. Piper Wagner, the stadium was packed. GGC Baseball had just won. And Matt was on the call for the top of the seventh inning. Man, what a moment. And a moment indeed. A looper to right. Holly Janko, another freshman, ranging in foul territory, makes the catch, and the celebration is on in Lawrenceville. For the first time in program history, it took six short years for Cat Allenberg to take this team to the World Series in Claremont, Florida. Nikki Cook gets the trophy. They literally hoist her to the skies. The lone senior on this program. We played all seven games, sandwiched in two days here at the Lawrenceville Brackens as Georgia Gwinnett push to the if necessary game and comes away on top from Oregon Tech by a final score of 4-1. to one. Daniel, final thoughts as we wrap things up. I still keep coming back to the fact that Nikki Cook reached 13 times in two days with 11 steals. Piper Wagner, a perfect season. That's the only way I can put it. 18 starts. 18 wins for Piper Wagner and the pressure put on to the freshman in two nearly must-win games. Yesterday, you don't need to win it, but if you do, it makes it easier on today. Today, game seven, you need to win it. Yeah. My favorite two words in sports, I'll <laughs> say it again, and it lived up to expectations, Matt. Absolutely. Georgia Gwinnett will be headed south on I-75 May 24th through the 31st for the NAI World Series. Fans, be sure to log back onto our website, grizzlyathletics.com, for a complete recap of this year's Lawrenceville bracket. History was made as the glory goes to the Grizzlies. They won the opening round for the first time and are headed to Claremont, Florida. Daniel Gilman, it was a pleasure, my man. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Grizzly Digital Network. It's been a blast. For our entire cast and crew from Lawrenceville, Georgia, I'm Matt Mahoney signing off saying so long, everybody. This is the Grizzly Digital Network.